Okay. They think they can handle the situation properly just because they spent billions on these machines. The new observer, type 008, should do wonders. But do you not think that there is something irregular? Oh yes, everything is somehow irregular. It's an irregular case in itself, so it's secret. Our work is about irregular things, nothing new for me. Oh, come on. They are grappling in the dark. First, they could not make a preemptive strike because no one knows where this country is or against whom they should act. What they call no man's land seems to me more like a virtual construct. Especially in terms of art, they are weak. And yes, I think it's an art project. Second, by the way, you have the envelope. Of course, clear. It seems you have checked the documentation pretty well. If it is really an art project, the ice becomes thin for them. I have something for you. Of course. Oh yes. Here you are, your envelope. Many thanks. Listen, I did not just read the files. In fact, it is weak and stupid. I know that this case is not the secret to justify this secret level. They keep us on the short leash. Okay. Tell me one thing, I see it in your eyes. So, if you do not trust me, why did you ask me to bring you the envelope? Oh yes. Since we have learned something, do not trust anyone. You mean? So, you think I do not trust you? I could be wired or use my weapon. By the way, some weapons I would like to make experience with. Shut up us. I am trying to talk serious to you. I had all these fantastic developments in the wildest scenarios in my imagination. Believe me. No, I trust you. And if I tell you that, it's my gut feeling against my trained and fucked up secret service mind. Okay, I believe you. And now? What you are doing now? Bo. Well, the answer is somewhere out there. Yes, Mulder said that too. Who said that? Forget it. Yes, Lake Constance is out there. Yo. And I get to go. Sorry. Many thanks for the envelope. I hope we can meet in better circumstances, really. Good luck. Yes, you also enjoy it well. Whatever you do, you will need it. I guess I do. Is it true, I'm smaller than you? Boo. Stop. Man. Don't do this again. I hate it. Say, how should I trust your information? Seriously. If you do not tell me anything about yourself, and who are you? An agent out of control. You just have to believe me, or what else should you do? In your situation? At least it seems to me that you are real. Don't look at me, dude. Man, shut up. I hate this game. Oh, sorry. I thought that you like it. Okay. Finish. I thought you know what I'm thinking. Not funny. I really want to help you and the reason is quite simple. You will do something that will be very unusual and redeeming, but at first. For you it will become quite normal. But nothing the less, it will be the answer to many questions. For me. It's clear that I help you. If I can. As you have noticed, I can recognize some of your thoughts. I am doing this because. Simply, because I can. I am not able to control your thoughts. You are the master of your mind. Your decisions are constantly changing what's going to happen. It is the same. For you and me and for all of the people. For to the woman with the shopping bags over there. It applies to everyone. This is about something really important. Not like the one who's occupied thinking about what to wear tonight. Or just the guy on the corner. With more rum than coffee in his cup. For him, 
it's all about how he can hide his addiction. But everyone is lying and hiding somehow. Your mission will be something for our society. You feel it, this thing is very special and not what is happening you can change, but only under what circumstances and especially how long it takes, so the time span. Ah, I really hope I can help you and give you the crucial tip on the right time. For now it can be incomprehensible what I tell you. But it is about you and just you can find your way. And you will find him. Well, there was a lot going on in the last few days. Much has happened that I never could imagined. If it helps you, I have worked for the same shitty club as you. They wanted my skills and I was so naive to do anything. And then, they've kicked you in the ass, just like me. Yes, and I'm really happy about that now. Truly, I made many people very unhappy. I understood that only gradually. Today I see a lot different. I am doing my own thing now. One more thing I can tell you. Fear will be your companion from now on. Do not let it overwhelm you or mislead you. You know what I mean. Fear is a bad advisor. You should not meet important decisions if your thinking is characterized by fear. Just drive away these demons. Hello. Hello to you. It's me. I wanted to ask once, is everything fine? How is it going? Yes, hello. But I should ask you. The boss is making a big secret out of it. There is nothing new, except that I was deducted from the case. Oh yes? And my inquiries have shown that you are still in service, quite normal. Someone is lying to me on purpose? It says, you are currently performing an undercover job. Unfortunately, I did not have access to further data. What? Right, this I cannot understand as well. So I'm surprised you get in touch with me. The time of your return and stay is subject to the same high-level secrecy by now. Oh, really? However, I hope you are doing well. Now I have to hang up and think about the things you've told me. Yes, yes. Everything is fine with me. I am quite curious, but I don't want to be indiscreet. Believe me, I am at least as baffled as you are. Something is smelling fishy here. It smells a lot. I think so. Fingers crossed, my dear. Hey, thank you. And all the best to you, too. Bye. Bye-bye. Hello, doctor. Thank you for choosing me so briefly. Good morning. You know, I would advise a friend to search for professional help if this would happen to him, what was happening to me. Okay. Of course, I have complied with your request and I could give you the earliest possible date. Unfortunately, time is extremely tight today. Until 11 a.m., is this fine for you? Other ways we can arrange another appointment. Ah, half an hour. I think for now it could be perfect. Maybe my description sounded like the prime example of a maniac and everybody knows that you do not want to miss something like that. Oh, please have a seat. We need to stay here. If you don't mind. As I told you, I experience crazy things. Where are we here? And... What are you doing here? Hey you. I am talking to you. Sorry. But, seriously, what is going on here? Look around, here is nothing. As far as you can see there is not thing. Nothing here. Nothing there. Nothing. Just sand. Ha, ha 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 ha. Nothing is around us. Nobody is here unless you and me and I don't know who are you. You have to tell me how I could get here. Please. You. You have embarked on this journey and now you are already further than many before you. But who? Do not ask, who was before? It is not important. You are important. You are the main person. But believe me. You are here, you are here on this, 
is important. Could it be that I know you? Are you going to play with me? Yes, do we play something? What kind of? To talk. I'd be overjoyed. I've got, together with my colleague, the first real order. My joy has not lasting long. I was confused because I think that my boss was giving me false information on purpose. I just escaped. They search for me, for sure. The new island in Lake Constance, the chilled. Weird dreams. And. Not enough. Recently I am having this scary dream that I was arrested because I killed someone. There was blood. Everything seemed to be that realistic. Certainly, something like this has never happened to me before. Is that schizophrenic? Well. In a psychosis, such as schizophrenia, it does what it says to itself, dividing something in two spheres. It is the Greek word for diaphragm, the seat of consciousness, the seat of the mind, at this time. The self is in the reality and on the other hand it is in the world of delusion as well. Oh? The trigger cannot be determined until today. It always comes suddenly, let's say, fateful and it can hit anyone. Still, it's only 0.7%. Well, I thought maybe the sudden loss of my usual environment and especially the loss of my work, which has really meant a lot to me, can trigger that? As I said, only a very small part could be named schizophrenia. Even in a neurosis that is traumatized, for example, by a shock as it is, and perception of the inner world can reveal unconscious problems. The so-called borderline, that is the unclear border between neurosis and psychosis, of course also exists. Only, hearing voices, delusions, etc. These are so also normal things and this can happen in extreme conditions to a very only, of course. And what are these extreme conditions? Well, if you get less sleep or when alcohol is consumed. Oh, fine. Alcohol counts as well. I am joking, sorry. Well. The awakening is trigger and it happens all over sudden and will be absolutely clear. And that is the solution? This is your solution. It's about you. And your subconscious mind. For example, I had a case. A neurotic paralysis of the right hand in a patient. Only the recognition of the subconscious processes helped in the paralysis hand, disappeared. I have to recognize the problem? That's the way it is. The open lake could express the self and the conscious in your case. And the island, is the subconscious where spilled and lost contents are present from your childhood. I'm sure I'll have a few more questions once I think about it. I thank you very much, doctor. Hi, I called this morning and I have an appointment with the editor of the article on No Man's Land and Lake Constance. I read the article and wanted to get to know the person who can help me. In order to know more about this interesting art project, I am looking forward to meet the author. Sorry, mister. He is not around. What? Sorry. But I called just some hours ago. How could this be possible? I have to cancel other appointments. And now? Unfortunately, I do not know your name. The secretary told me that there is someone with some inquires. I have to disappoint you. Yes, my husband made this interview and also some others about this art project. Unfortunately he is not available at the moment. I am so sorry for you. Not available? Should I come back another time? No. Tell me what you want to know. I will research and try to give you the answers. Oh. But there's something. I could not find the name of the interviewed artist. Other ways I could go straight there. By the way, isn't it rather unusual not to publish the artist's names, is it? Okay. You should have to understand that. My husband has disappeared since that time. I needed to know who inquired about him. You understand if I ask you to go now. Especially as I even do not know your name. 
Oh, I really did not know that. I am very sorry. Okay, I deserve to tell you the truth, I guess. And? Can you assure me of secrecy? Well, it depends. This is what you have to decide by yourself. Let me know. Even journalists sometimes. Sometimes. Lie to get their information, right? Do not make it so hard for me to apologize. Maybe you still have some time for me? It's nearly noon. And... We can talk more relaxed, just around the corner. That's my suggestion. How long has this been? Now. Yes. Sorry, but what was your name again, mister? One year. Wow. Sorry. My goods. Indeed. It seems that I have a great need to get an identity. Yes, I lost my identity because... I quit my secret service job. Sounds easy, but something like this is not provided in our business. Even if I'm just a small person. That means my former employer has to get me into an integration program. At a movie, I would simply be eliminated. An elimination is exactly what you're thinking now. The reason is this no man's land, and I want to find out more and you could benefit as well. In the transnational civil service, I was given the task to get to the bottom of this issue and subsequently I quit one-sided. You understand? Partly out of spite and partly out of conviction, I'm working undercover for myself now. My old name and everything before it is gone in one fell swoop. The more I explore this matter, the more mysterious it seems to be. You seriously want to seek for this land? I can't believe it. Oh, no. I just cannot believe. You probably have nothing else to do. You must be very, very bored. Yes, I've never heard of such a nonsense. It should be called nonsense land. Or something like that. <laughs> Didn't I ask for discretion? Everyone can hear. I beg you, do you have to be so loud? Ha, ha. That's probably the greatest nonsense I've ever heard. Please excuse me. Yes, you already said that and now can we please get down to business somewhat quieter? Is that possible? Come down to business? But of course. But I understand something different. You know? Come on. Hey. Did I get you out of the concept? Please continue. Oh, maybe a little. Could be. But you may understand me better now. I do not hope that what I told you will one day burden me. That was the short form. Everything, including my embarrassing visit to the psychiatrist, and now I ask you to tell me how that happened to your husband. Well. First, we did not connect the two things together. But actually it started exactly the day. A person with an unrecognizable voice directly called my husband's phone and verbally abused him. So he told me later, without closer details. Then he had another appointment the same day. By the way, this man did not mention his name. Just like you. This stranger seemed to waste no time and made it clear to my husband what they would think about his dubious and lurid way of reporting. Certainly it was nothing good, of course. What he was told was that he had to take care now and he would be watched. The other papers were terrorized in the same manner. So, my husband tries to solve the issue. He felt forced to do so. He said. Against my advice he went unaccompanied to this meeting. And never came back. Point, end. The police could not or did not want it to do a lot investigate the matter. I understand. Excuse me. Maybe I am unfair. On the one hand I was dependent on the police in my situation, on the other hand they did not know more than me. So it may well be that your husband is still alive? 
The worst thing is the uncertainty in which I am. Probably, even if the facts are terrible, I could learn to accept them. I think you know what I mean. Yes. And by what time do you have to go back to the office? I probably will not go back to the office today. With a break we can continue our talk, if you want. If you still have time? Yes, of course, we can do so. Are you scared? Detectors and cameras wherever you look. Who is not? Come in. That's my home. Here. The cabinet. It is orphaned since a long time. And what do you like to drink? Fine. I like to be surprised. Okay. Cheers. For the abandon it. Oh. That's the way you see it. But you could be right. Cheers. Excuse me, but is he that over there in the photo, your husband? Yes. Yes. How did he become aware of this country? What about this really mysterious land? What is behind the story? What's your opinion? Too many questions, really. I am fed up with it. I want to think about something else. You know, I am busy day and night with this question, since it happened. Let's get to business. Get to business? You like to be surprised. You said so. Do you really want to continue talking and talking, or do you want me to give you a blow job? Then do not be shy, come closer. Oh. Let's go over to the sofa. Fine. Uh. My. God. Good. Hey. You can call me whatever. <laughs> you absolutely have to come. We have his transmitter bed. 